Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sessa here and I have five really dope sites I know for a fact if you guys are designers you will absolutely enjoy and want to know about. For the record I am of course in New York right now if you guys did not know don't follow me on socials or things like that but I'll be here for like three months so hopefully this area will sound better and hopefully or look better and hopefully I sound somewhat okay and decent but regardless you guys are here for the, the website so let's do it. First site is known as Clip Drop. This site is actually loaded up with a few great apps, but I wanted to focus on just two. One is their Relight app that allows you to create rim lights and environment lights very, very easily. Like if you guys aren't a Photoshop person, you need some rim light for a photo. This is a super simple solve that'll save a lot of noobs or even professionals some time. It has multiple light support, radius, distance, and intensity. You honestly probably can't beat that right now. However, Clip Drop also has one of my favorite back arm movers I've tested too. If you find yourself saying image selection in Photoshop, Photoshop isn't enough because sometimes you have to fix it. It's not your thing. You're not like super savvy in Photoshop. Their background remover is actually pretty dope as well. It has the same premise as a remove.bg. You basically drag the photo and it erases. It's not fully free where it actually allows you to cut out the full HD photo, but it does give you a standard definition download that is not crazy short in the dimensions, like something like a remove.bg, and it does a really good job. Plus, if you guys want to, you can take the photo, put it into Photoshop, make it a smart object, place the standard definition photo inside a new document, take the smart object photo and place it inside the standard definition document, then select the thumbnail of the standard definition cutout and go back to the smart object picture and layer mask it and cut it out. Just saying, I didn't say it, but you guys get it. And a nice cherry on top, Clip Drop does have plugins for Photoshop and Illustrator. It's pretty freaking dope. The next site is known as Logo Book. For my logo designers out there who need inspiration, I've never stumbled upon something this cool before with categories and all. It generally has so much guidance on how to navigate certain projects, so many creative ways to actually go about alphabets, certain shapes, etc. They specifically state that if you're uploading to this site, they're looking for originality, simplicity, intelligence, charm, and most importantly, that the logo can actually communicate in black and white. So honestly, if you're a logo designer, enjoy that one. Up next is Font Share. Now, if you're a sans serif fiend like myself, monotypes and all, this free font site might blow your mind. I mean, even down to the aesthetics of the site, it's something I personally kept to myself for just a little bit, but I'm sharing it now, so if you guys did not know, now you know. The best part is that they even have a pair subcategory where you guys can actually go and already look at successful font pairs and download them right away. And did I mention all the fonts on this site were 100% free? It's absolutely insane and an easy visit for me. And for our last site, it's Unblast, a great resource for all things mockups, fonts, icons, templates, and even 3D models. All 100% free with a pretty good bundle of variety as well. Candidly, a lot of the sites I usually see have some pretty boring mockups, but this site does a really good job and I think gives a lot of different choices. It's something I'm sure a lot of you guys will learn to love if you guys aren't a mockup person yet, as mockups and things like that really, really do help with presentation on your Behance or whatever portfolio you guys are working on. They even have a little colors category as well where you actually look up some really cool color schemes. I mean, it's just one of those things that I think a lot of you guys can get lost in and just enjoy some really free, cool assets. All right, guys, that is the end of the video here today. So hopefully you got something out of it, some really cool value if you're a logo designer, artist, whatever the heck you guys are. That rim light site, super freaking dope. The logo folio site, whatever you want to call it, that is also super freaking dope. So I don't know, let me know in the comments below what you guys think are some really cool sites that I might have not have mentioned in my videos recently. But uh, yeah, that's all I got. So, so HQ out. Now I'm going to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love. Peace.